Okay, we have a system down here in a customer of ours house that said the um, unit in the attic is making a lot of noise, so I'm going to assume it is blower related, but uh, it's a gas furnace. I see the flue pipes on the roof there, so we're going to go in here and see what we can find and try to get rid of the noise. Okay. Train unit here. If you want it. No, I'm good. And I'm gonna open this thing up. I'm assuming that uh, I'm assuming uh, I'm assuming this pretty much has to be the blower making the noise. So let's find out. All right. So the first thing you see when you come up here is this wire here coming from the switch in front of the door, and it looks like it's going to be interfering with the doors but it actually came right off so let's see oh yeah we are definitely so for some reason guys that train just can't seem to get that set screw tight enough and I tell you this is small enough furnace here I don't know if I'm gonna be able to reach under and get this fixed without pulling the blower or not so let's try it and see what happens Oh, geez, that thing is finger loose. So the only problem is I'm not able to push it up. have to pull this out just to get it just to get it pushed up because it's obviously worked itself into a groove all right so one more trick we may be able to pull is Able to get the wrench on that flat two screws here out and these this whole thing will slide out we may have enough slack here to get it out far enough but we'll find out
these eight one ones would accommodate that. Yep. So. All right, so we got it out here. I tell you what, this one is tough. I'm gonna have to go get a hammer or something to tap on this with. It will not budge. I was hoping if I got it out here. I might could hit it. But it has affixed itself on that shaft pretty well here somehow. See, this is finger loose. That, I just loosened it up from reaching under there. So let's go get something to tap that. All right, so as much as I hate taking hammers hey, to motors. See, it is a little bit turned. I don't know if I can try to see here. I got it a little straighter. with how hard we're hitting this and how little it's moving. I don't like this at all. It's just not moving. Not very far. It's not great because you can see the play of the motor still rides low, but tell you what, I'm tired of beating on it. And I'm just not comfortable beating on it. All right, so I'm not going to beat on it anymore. I'm just not comfortable with that. Um, I would rather have this thing beyond the center because the motor's on the top and as the motor wears and shaft play it will eventually be down again so i'm not at all really thrilled about it but i'm not going to hit it anymore so i just don't think i'm helping the motor any doing that so all right we got it all back together Hopefully the thermostat's calling by now. Turned the power back on. And I don't think we do have a call yet, so we're gonna have to go turn it on. All right, so I was gonna say, I'll wait outside for the delay to pass 
on the unit to start up and then as soon as I walked up to it out here it started I heard it from around the corner so this thing sounds pretty quiet and uh, everything's okay there a little bit bigger than the other unit so it's up on the sidewalk or walkway whatever we call it here so let's go inside and make sure that furnace is quiet now all right, this was a garage, obviously a man cave now. Still got the little roll stop for the protection of the car rolling into the water heater. But, yep, we're quiet now. So they should be good to go. So let's head to the next one. Thanks for calling. <laughs>